hi there friends welcome back to my channel and a happy 2017 to you um in this video i'm going to be talking about my top five books for 2016 i enjoy going through the list of books that i've read and just reflecting on which books were my best reads for 2016. so my top five books are not in any particular order because that would just be mission impossible the first book i have is this one it's by octavia butler and it's called the parable of the talents whenever people find out that i write speculative fiction they highly recommend octavia she's a black female who is just a master at writing speculative fiction i'm yet to come across anybody else who writes speculative fiction as well as octavia does she is a master at creating these alternative worlds and justifying them and explaining them and making it making the story so seamless um and i think a lot of speculative writers what they get wrong is sometimes they give too much information or they over explain the world or they don't they don't justify the world they've created they don't do that well i i i feel like with octavia she creates this world and makes you believe in it and you don't question anything about the world you don't question that the characters have superpowers you don't create you don't question the fact that it's 2020 and the world is coming to an end she is a master storyteller and i hope to be as good as she is so the next book on my list is this one by zadie smith and it's called on beauty if you've been following my channel for a while now you have seen the review that i did of this book and if you haven't please check it out the link to the video is in the description bar below um this was my very first book by zadie and i'm so happy that i started with this because i absolutely loved it and i'm definitely a fan of zadie now and i'm looking forward to reading more of her books um the reason i loved this book is because it really explored and delved into somewhat complex topics um, in a nutshell i think zadie smith is exploring what shapes us and the perspectives that we have and how do those perspectives then uh influence what we consider to be beautiful um whom we consider to be beautiful and who we end up loving because of these perspectives i really love this book it's very well written and i love I love the characters there are so many characters that i identified with and the storyline really resonated with me and you know zadie is just a master at her craft so this is on my list so the next book on my list is this one by elizabeth gilbert it's called big magic creative living beyond fear i love elizabeth gilbert and i love this book so much for so many reasons but mainly it really reminded me of why i choose to live the way i live and it affirmed some of my life decisions and i think this book is is not just for creatives it's it's not just for painters or writers or visual artists it's for I think anybody and everybody who's looking to live a more authentic life live life from pure delight instead of fear i highly recommend this book and i'm going to be reviewing it so please stay tuned and come back to my channel for that i just want to read um a quote from this book because i really feel like this quote pretty much summarizes what the book is about we must risk delight. We must have the stubbornness to accept our gladness in the ruthless furnace of this world. I absolutely love that. Um, and I feel like that's how I've lived my life. I have, I've been stubborn in pursuing my delight and finding out what delights me and being very selfish and stubborn 
I guess, in the pursuit of that. Um, like I said, the book, like I said, I'll be reviewing this book. So please come back. It's such an amazing book and I highly recommend it to everybody and anybody and somebody and all the people. <laughs> so the next book on my list, surprise, surprise, is this one. The Reactive by my Sunday. If you've watched the review for this book, then you know that I'm absolutely nuts about this book. I think it's a brilliant book. It has all the elements that make a good book. The story is great. The writing is great. The characters are amazing. It's just a wonderful contemporary um, book. It's, it's absolutely brilliant. Please check out my review. Because I've gone like in depth into why this book is brilliant. Please do that. I will not do that here just because that's going to take another 10 minutes. And we do not want that. Check out the review. I will have it linked in the description down below. So the next book on my list is this one. It's Eloquent Body by Dawn. Um, this is a reread. I read this book in 2015 and I definitely felt the need to reread it again in 2016 just because so much in this book resonates with me. Um, yeah, and I highly recommend this book to anybody who is dealing with, you know, breakdowns, breakdowns in the body, um, breakdowns in your environment, um, it's a great book. It looks at how you can use creativity as a way of exploring the the themes that are coming up in your life, the themes that are coming up in your, you know, that are manifesting in your body, but also the themes that are manifesting um, around you and how you can use creativity to delve into that and really start understanding um, who you are and why you have these things constantly coming up for you um yeah she and she is a medical doctor and an artist so she comes from both those perspectives which make which makes this book very interesting i highly highly recommend it so friends, that was my video and that was my top 5 for 2016. I absolutely loved this book. Um, please let me know if you've read any of them and what you thought of them. I hope you're all having a wonderful 2017. Thank you so much for your continued support. I really appreciate every one of you, all my subscribers and everybody that watches and comments and likes. I really appreciate it. I hope we can grow this family in 2017. Take very good care and I'll see you in my next video.